I'm working on a project uh, to develop uh, in vitro fertilization in rhinos uh, in order to save the northern white rhinos. The northern white rhino are in this position due to um, poaching, um, human threats uh, mainly, and, uh, and the population becoming so fragmented that it's, it's just dwindled and uh, come to the state it's in today. Together with uh, Longleaf Safari, we are working uh, on an uh, oocyte recovery technique uh, which allows to harvest oocytes, means eggs, from a two-ton animal. We are uh, collecting uh, eggs from all of the females that are here at, at the safari. We harvest them and we transport them to Italy into a specialized IVF lab where they get fertilized and after fertilization we hope that they develop into embryos that we then transport back and hope to transfer back to these females that they become pregnant. It's been good so far and um, all three sedations have gone well. The German vet team are really highly skilled at the sedation process. Uh, we do a lot of planning and a lot of training with the rhinos in the months beforehand as well and uh, so the actual sedation itself is actually something that's quite routine for the rhinos so it's a really quick recovery as well and uh, they'll probably spend the rest of this afternoon just a bit dopey and then by tomorrow they'll be right as rain. It's mind-blowing being involved in this kind of project. Um, it's something that in, in our careers we've not done before. Um, it's quite exciting. You, you see quite a lot of the IVF techniques in humans and in horses. You never really believe that you'd be doing it in the rhino's hip. So hopefully in the near future we'll be sedating them again and uh, the lab will have grown the egg to a blaster site size and that will be replaced back inside the rhino for them to then grow into a baby rhino.